Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we bring you the story of King Henry VIII and all of his contributions to the Anglican Church, his wives. That's just about it. We're even going to give you some facts if you want those. Did you know, for example, he was fat and that eventually he died? Boy, those look like a lot of wives, don't they? And you're gonna learn about them all. I bet you can't wait for this. Come now, children. Join us on this journey through the ages as we learn about King Henry VIII. King Henry VIII. He was born in 1471 in Greenwich, England. When his older brother, older brother died, King Henry became the next heir. King Henry was six feet tall, powerfully built, super athlete, huntsman, and a great dancer. He was expected to bring England to a new era. King Henry had six wives, Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anne of Cleves, Catherine Howard, and Catherine Hart. King Henry died on January 28, 1547, London, England. He died due to natural causes, but what aided that death was obesity and a leg injury due to jousting. All right, so in 1509 through 1533, King Henry VIII was married to Catherine of Aragon. She was pretty useless as a wife. She had no sons. She eventually went barren. So he wanted to get the marriage annulled. He sent a request to the Pope, the Pope said no, so the King waited until there was a new Archbishop. And once there was, he sent a new request to that Archbishop, and he approved it. The Pope found out about this, and he wasn't too happy. But, what the Pope didn't know at the time at least, was King Henry secretly got married to Anne Boleyn, who also had no sons. But, once all that came to light, the king had the archbishop that approved the annulment excommunicated. He had the king excommunicated. And was real unhappy with this whole thing. But King Henry VIII took it all into his own hands. Made his own church. He made the Anglican church. He instated the rule of divine right in kings in England. But once Anne had no sons, things were starting to get old again. He ended up having her investigated for high treason, and eventually beheaded. That was cool. Henry VIII married Jane Seymour, his third wife. Jane Seymour is a crown from Anne Boleyn. King Henry and Jane Seymour were married happily for one year. Jane Seymour finally gave King Henry VIII what he always wanted, a son, Edward VI. But due to complication at birth, she died, and Edward VI became the heir to the mm, Yes, quite. All right, in 1540, King Henry VIII met Anne of Cleves, or met, kind of, and the only time, the first time they saw each other was on their wedding day, and King Henry VIII was kind of funny about it. Anne of Cleves, while she was walking on the stage of the wedding, actually, like, and King Henry's King Henry thought she was ugly. She called him, he called her a horse face. And during their wed during the wedding, he gets stuck in his head that he needed to divorce this girl immediately because she was ugly. But you can't you can't get divorced because someone's ugly because that's not how it worked back then. And. <laughs> And he had to research her to find the excuse and to find the excuse about how to divorce her, basically. So during the research, he found out that she actually had a marriage contract. And with the Duke Francis of Lorraine, which is somewhere in Germany. And that was the perfect excuse to divorce her. So that's basically it. That was literally like a one month wed a love one month marriage. Indubitably and undoubtedly. In 1541, almost immediately after the divorce of 
Anne of Cleves, King Henry VIII met Catherine Howard, and she was 16 years old when they met. And keep in mind, this man, 50 years old, unhealthy, fat, not in good condition. He has a big old stomach, and well said. They got married. For, and they were married for 16 months. 16 months. And during those 16 months, she somehow met his best friend, Thomas Culpepper, and committed adultery with him. And the little fat man here wasn't happy about it, so beheaded her, Tower of London, three months later. And that's that. Last but not least is his last marriage. In 1543, he met Catherine Parr, and they were considered the perfect family. This, in everyone's opinion, that this, yeah, just cut this I think not. In 1543, King, King Henry VIII met Catherine Parr, and what sets what sets her apart from all the other wives is that she actually cared about the family, and she wanted to do the best for it, and they were considered a perfect family, and oh. She, and the main goal was to make the royal family look powerful, which was a really good goal as a wife. And her, what was important to her was the close relationship with his kids, which also, wow. And then in 1547, sadly, uh, King Henry died and she became a widow. But what was neat is that she was able to keep all her jewelry and she was considered the Queen Dowager, which, which means um, she was the mother, she was a king's widow, and that, and she's powerful still. And one year later, with, uh, she actually married an, what, her last husband, which was, um, uh, some guy, um, Seymour, Thomas Seymour. And that was his last husband, but they were barely married. They, she died the one year after this marriage. And the end. And so wraps up our story about King Henry VIII. Oh, what's this? We have some credits and some bloopers? I like me some bloopers. Or would it be bloopits? Croopers? Anyway. Oh, look at this. Look at that shirt. Look at those arms. Look at how strong he is. I would hate to get in a fight with him. <laughs> <laughs>